All right, YouTube, this is not a drill. This is another update on the Dad to Glory. I was supposed to take the weekend off, play champs, and just take it easy with the game until we get a grind on Monday, but emergency update on the Dad to Glory. We have a grind. After a month and a half wondering what to do within EAFC24, we now have two new SPCs that will change completely the way you can obtain cards and craft packs within Ultimate Team, and I am talking about the famous League SBC. They are back this year, and they are back for at least 40 days but we can expect them until the end of the year in some ways, shape, or form. And this caught me by surprise because I was not expecting this before next Thursday or maybe Thursday after that. So I was really, really... I was planning on doing not much on the game and play champs and that's it. And then this came today and I was super busy, but you know what? I had to make time for this update on the Data to Glory and I will show you how you can craft every SPC you want within Ultimate Team with time, patience, and method using these two challenges. And I'm talking about the Premium Mixed League Upgrade and the Mixed Leagues Upgrade. These are known as the League SPC from all the older Ultimate Team player because before they were called League SPC. They changed the name, they changed the format, but the basic is simple. You have challenges within these requiring specific league players. And at the end of it, you have packs. It's an SPC after all. So it's the same method. You submit a squad, you get a pack, you get a pack back. And these are league based. And the great thing about this year, they kept tradable packs. Not all rewards are tradable, but you have at least two tradable packs per time you do this. And they lowered the uh, chemistry rating on everything. So these are super easy to craft. But the problem is you may run out of cards if you are not careful. So I'm going to show you step by step what to do. And we will start from the very beginning. If you are low on coins or low on cards, you should jump into the store and open Bronze Pact and do what we call the Bronze Pact method. You can check out my channel. I had a tutorial on how to do the Bronze Pact method extensively. But the gist of it is you open pack, you check the prices of every card and you sell whatever card sells for more than 200 coins within like the hour and you will try to list duplicates at least once to get some profit and if they don't sell you place them within upgrades the good thing is now that we have league spc there is a way more bronzes that will sell especially those the sudamericana and libertadores cards they will sell for something so i suggest only selling the duplicates if you can afford it if you are very 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 low on coins and cards sell everything that sells even the league spc cards because you will craft them another way you will need those coins to just gather more packs so you do bronze packs until your transfer list is full or until you're done with them or however it is you want to do there is no limit the more bronze pack you open the more cards you get to fuel everything bronze packs are the base and what you can expect from bronze pack method is at least breaking even so not really losing coins maybe a small profit on good days because you need to check managers uh, some kits badges their managers selling for 5k still there's a team of the week in them right now it's not the case every week but this week there's a team of the week and it sells for over 20k so you need to check the bronze pack you will at least break even and turn a little profit if you break even it's all good because you can do it infinitely meaning that if you break even you will collect cards that you will not use into league spc and this is where it gets very very important now that we know which leagues are required for league spc 
meaning that what you can do is take every league that you will not use for example here i'm taking the indian league and th in this example i'm using rares i strongly suggest only using bronze common it's just because right now i'm kind of low because i did a lot of silver upgrade this week and i did not do a lot of bronze pack because i was not expecting the league spc but I will jump back on buying bronze pack as soon as I am done with champs. But I just wanted to show you real quick how you do this. And it is very simple. You do a bronze update and you get the silver cards. And why this is important is because within these silver packs, you will get crucial cards for every part of the league SPC. Because there will be some very, very expensive card. This is not a good example, but Italy uh, Syria card, see, it's selling for 500, 500 or 600 coins, meaning there's demand for this card because it is very useful for the league SPC. So this is base level. On the base level, you open bronze pack, you do upgrades, you fill your club with silvers or you get as much as you can. And the silvers you don't use for League SPC, you can do the same thing and get gold commons. These will come handy for League SPC, of course, but for upgrades for SPC crafting, because we expect upgrades to come on Mondays and you will have decisions to make on how you craft those because we have an excess of gold cards now with all the women's league and the off leagues there is way more gold cards but we still have only two league spcs meaning that those extra gold cards you need to put somewhere i strongly suggest to do upgrades on monday whatever they are or do bro or do gold upgrades Instead of wasting a duplicate cards, you can always craft a gold upgrades and you will pack 83s and 84s and 85s sometimes and they're very useful for the grind. But now let's jump into the core of it. The, the important part of League SPC are the two squads and you need to start with the lower one. Even if you have a lot of coins, you need to start with this because this is very cheap to do. You got two tradable packs, two untradable packs, plus the reward that is untradable, but it is very, very cheap to do. And the only tricky part is this here. The Libertadores and Sudamericana part of this league SPC requires you to put six players from the same team. So I strongly suggest to, if you did a lot of bronze pack, just checked whatever squad you have. I use Libertad already, so use um try to use all your lowest rated and try to see like here uh mon i shall have some which is monagas sc see i have six cards that's because i did a lot of bronze pack and i have a lot of libertadores card and i wasted a few doing upgrades as well i should have way more than that but if you do bronze pack method you will pack all of these and more whenever you need them so you just put all from the same squad that you get you try not to buy these if possible uh you try to get what's in your club and if you don't have six you can buy one or two but as you can see just by putting them at, at roughly the good place i got the chemistry and i got the six players so now i all i need is to finish the squads so i'm gonna finish the squads with I'm taking Sudamericana card right now because I use Libertadores, so I'm just gonna jump right into it and put as much Sudamericana card as I can. It's fairly easy, just like that. We're gonna do it step by step, so it's I'm, it's gonna be a long video or a long update because I wanna put details into what I do. See, that was fairly easy. I just used what I had. And for this part, I don't mind using tradable cards because I know they come from the, the bronze pack method. So they are all tradables. I'm not using untradable in here, but that's only in the minor league. In the major league, you try to use the untradable as much as you can. So that's the gist of it. You do this. And you do all of these as much as you can for the uh, uh, the Super League and the CSL, as, as well as the Saudi and the Belgian. You try to use what you have in your club uh, as much as possible. Then again, I still have some leftovers from League SPC and from opening the packs. But not much because I did it twice already. 
I I was on Saturday. I was just watching uh, sports on TV, and I watched the uh, EAFC thing where you needed to watch a Twitch to get some packs. So I did it already two times. I still have some leftovers, so I can still get my chemistry here just to show you guys as soon as you get your chemistry the tricky part is that you need to use one card per club so you try to check the badges and see if you're all right like right here i am all right and as soon as i get the cam what i do to make my life way easier is that i just switch to the other league because it doesn't need to be all the same league within your squad you can mix it up as long as you get your cam so if i want to help my rating i put the gold common i have and now I just try to remember what I use. The silver, I try to keep as much as possible. Even though they are untradeable, I know they will come in to you when I need the ratings. And now I'm talking, so I forgot which squad I use. I think I didn't use this one. And just in case I need ratings and new squads, I'm just going to put these two in. And I'm pretty sure I didn't use... See, ah, I did. So, uh, needs a 68. I got a 69. It's quite all right. I could switch the gold if I wanted to. See, see if I switch the gold, it's not good. So I need that high rating. Yeah, I need the high rating of the gold. So let's keep the gold. It doesn't matter. You will pack them. The gold commons now will become easy to pack with the League SPC. You will pack them more and more and more. So as you can see, these parts are very easy to do. You just complete. For the MLS and the EFL Championship, uh this year it's only three gold cards instead of six and six rares the rares you will get from the silver upgrade like when you do a lot of silver upgrade i was keeping my championship and mls card so as you can see i did it twice and i still have cards that i can use so same thing you try to get your cam and this is a 74 rating overall so you try to keep the rating as high as possible and whenever you need gold after you get your um, your chemistry i don't have any so this is where you go and you bid on cards you try to bid on mls or championship card uh it's 600 coins right now because everything is inflated but you get three any three once you get your cam it doesn't really matter you can even get them on buy now because prices already are down. The only thing that are expensive right now are Ligue 1 and Eredivisie card. So I can buy one. I can buy two. If you remember from last year, it's pretty much the same card. Same position, same club. There's a few differences. But see, I just paid 2k here just to make it very quick. I got all the rares I need. I got all the golds I need. And now all I need to do is to get cam. So to get cam, I go back to the championship. Because I know I still have a lot more of these. And I put different clubs. I got my cam already. So now all I need to do is just um, try not to use too high rated. And now I can go to the MLS if I want. Or I can just stay in the championship. Really, it depends on what you have in the squad. And the more you do it, the more you will get cards after every run because you're not using the same team all the time and you're not using the same method all the time so what will happen is if you do it two or three times you open the silver packs you open everything else you will get more to use and when you're all out you have two options you either buy them back on bids everything will be super low or you just buy them from scratch well you do them and i'm telling you if you invest like 10k to do this you will get your coins back over time because this will allow you to craft League SPC more. And this will allow, allow you to craft a bunch of SPCs in the, um, the players and stuff. And those SPCs contain tradable pack as well. T today, I did the uh, Team of the Week player picks. There's two packs in there. So when I did that, what I didn't know is that I would pack an 87 Order Guard as well as whatever was my uh, Team of the Week. I packed uh, Lukaku. So you see, by doing this, I created more pack for myself. So that's the beauty of the League SPC. So yes, the rewards are super important. And that is why you are doing this. But it, it's also a lot of fuel for you to just craft and craft and craft. And that's the important part of League SPC. And as you can see, 
I don't have any more Turkish cards because I am all out. So I will just show you real quick. Right now I need cam, so I will need to pay a little extra for the position, but you see, everything is still sort of cheap. 400 coins is nothing right now. I still need the cam. So I'm just gonna buy another one, just make sure I cannot use this one. And I cannot, I can use this one. So you see, it's 800 coins right now. Now I got my cam. So I can put whatever I want in here. I don't have anything more, you see? All I have now is a gold one. I will use it to make my rating super high because what I can do now is just put some CSL cards and that I know I have in spades. CSL cards I will never like run out of. They are everywhere when you do the bronze pack method and I, I didn't keep them. I rinse them into upgrades so often. That's why I don't have pages and pages and pages of CSL card. I just have pages and pages, not an infinity of pages. That's a difference. But if you do the bronze pack method for half an hour, I'm telling you, you will get so much CSL card, you won't even know what to do with them. So that was just the super easy part. And, I, and I'm not even doing this the most efficient way. I'm just doing it the way to show you that within five or 10 minutes, you are done with this. So I got five packs to open and I can either go open them right now and get my fodder or I will just show you how I do this. And the, these, there, there's two tricks here, two tricks. Bundesliga and the Prem, these are super easy to do. You will pack these cards every time you do a Liga PC run, every pack you open, every rewards you open, this is super easy. All you need to do is I don't get the good league, select the league, uh, take untradeable, that's my suggestion, try to use untradeable as much as possible, and with these you can even use silvers because it's only a 77 rated squad. So if you have a few rares in there, this is going to be super easy to do. Uh, I can do Union Berlin, and if I do the CDMs here, to, just to put the rating higher. So I have all different clubs. I got my chemistry and I know I have a bunch of gold. So what I can do is that I can go now to the Syria and do exactly the same thing. Try to go a little lower and I'm just going to use the commons here and a few silvers just to make it easy like this and Torino. And now I need 77 ratings. Let's just see what I have here. I can use Juve and there you go. That's a 77. So this, and it's the same thing for the Prem. As you can see, I did it already because I packed a Prem dupe and I just did it and it's 79 rated. So what you need to keep in mind is that if you do update or other SPC, try to keep your La Liga and Prem card over 80 rating. They will come in for this to boost up your rating. Bundesliga and CAA 77 is super easy to do with mostly any goals. Here, the Libertadores and Sudamericana card, there is a little thing you need to know on the, the console, it's harder to buy the cards because you cannot filter which are golds. Golds are 75 and above. On the web app though, it is super easy. You can just go on the market, select gold cards and Libertadores and only those will come out. So what I did previously before recording the video, I just bought a few on bids for 600 coins or lower, sometimes even 450. And I'm just going to chuck a bunch of them here, one different club every time until I get my chemistry. But even then, I don't need to hit the chemistry because I will hit the chemistry with, um, what I want to say is, I will hit the chemistry with the other cards I put in. So now I have five golds. What I can do is go high to low, but now I can go in silvers. And the important thing is to use different teams. So now I did one. I'm just going to put another one from a different team. I think him I didn't use. Yeah. And now I go into Sudamericana. So the little caveat here is that it's harder to buy them on the market on the console. Yes, but you can do it on the web app. So it's super easy. And the other caveat is try not to use your high rated silvers in the other part on the smaller league when you do the um 
the Sudamericana or you see I'm short on rating right now so I need to use a high rated card and that's going to be a Libertadores card so you try to keep your high rated card as much as possible I know it's going to be a challenge after one or two run because you cannot how can I say this it's it's very hard to just um you see, I'm one gold shy, so I need to find a Sudamericana card that is gold just to boost the rating. And that's where it gets hard because people are listing at crazy prices left and right. And there's no way for you to filter what is a gold or look, if I put gold rare, they're not coming out. If I put gold common, they're not coming out. So this is something I know from doing this over and over and over again. In previous years there is gold in a few squads so I suggest you try and learn them as you go they changed a bit this year it's not the same uh, some teams change league and everything but if you practice yourself or if you are aware of what you're buying on the market when you buy it these will come handy and now I can just do this I'm still far, so what I can do, I'll go with Libertadores, and I know I can buy one from Barcelona, I think. I think I have one already in the club. Uh, no, 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 yes, I do have one, so I cannot use Barcelona. In the Libertadores, there's Barcelona, there's Nacional, there's uh, Cerro Porteno, uh, there's a few available. I think Racib Club have some, but I do have one in the club, I believe. I'm just going to buy another one just to see. And I'm over buying right now because I just want to show you, see, I got one already. So that was a bad purchase. So what I need now is to try and find a high rated silver. See, it's taking longer. That's why I suggest you do this on the web app. And you try to, I don't know, buy as much as you can on bids so you save time. Cavani here. Oh, Cavani, though, will help with rating. If I put Cavani here, now I got 74 and I can just put this guy here. Yeah, Cavani helps. So Cavani might be a key if you got a higher rated one. It makes it very easy. So as you can see, this one can be a little trickier and will maybe slow down your grind. So is this one. The Ligue 1 and Eredivisie is the trickiest because you need to use only one club. So you need to use 11 cards from one team. And the effect that it has on the market right now is that it's, it's sort up most clubs. So, for the time being, you use what you have in your club. See, maybe Lens will be the one. You check the clubs you have. You check what you have. And the, mo the one with the more will win the derby, basically. I already did it twice. So, I know I'm empty on some clubs. So, yeah, you see Metz, Lorient. Metz, I would avoid. Lorient would avoid. These are only silvers, and you need some gold to make it easier for the rating. So, you see, I got RC Lens or Lens. So, I got six here. I will need to pay a little coins, but you know what? It's perfect for this tutorial because I need to show you that it's okay to spend coins doing the League SPC because now you see this as investment. The more packs you open, the more packs you get back. It's as easy as that. And I will do this. My coins are now devoted to this grind. That's all I do. And now, Frankowski I have as a dupe. So all I need now is to try. I haven't done it enough to know what positions are easier. So now you just go and check. See, the prices are super high right now. People are, are putting this up there. See, it's 2K. Only the gold, a few gold commons will be easy to buy. You see like Wahi that I have in, in squad already. So these cards will be in crazy value. So there's two options here. You can either wait for the prices to go down 
which is a, a strong play. You can wait for prices to go down, and this is not a bad play at all. Everything at 3k, so that will cost you 10k just to do this. It is kind of nuts, I must admit. But you know what? If you see this as an investment, these 10k, I may have, I don't know, a few runs in me. And if I have a few runs in me, then I will get any kind of fodder afterwards. That's the thing. I packed an 87 tradable doing this on the first go. That was 1700, 17,000, 1700 coins. Sorry. So these go a long way to craft more, but the more you open these, you get a bunch of untradable packs. And then with all of this, it will make it super easy to craft whatever it is you want to craft into this. I wanted to start Tiago Silva, and I know I packed a few high-rated cards. So I checked in the untradable, and as you can see, I have a few more. I was barely empty at the beginning of the week, but now it's all coming back to me. So I'll put an 87 in there. I only use the untradable, of course. That's what you try to do as much as possible. So you put some 84s in there to keep it as high as possible. You put a prem in there, and after that, I'm gonna top it all off with an 88, probably to make it easy on me. So either Renard or Paradise, it doesn't matter because now that we have a sustainable grind where we get those back, this is where it gets interesting because now you know you can pack those cards back. I have a sustainable way to craft pack. That's the difference between now and what was EAFC without League SPC. So now I can craft these 85, 84s, 86, 83 squads very easily for with all the fodders I get. So you see, within the length of that video, I generated all those packs. This is the League SPC. After that, you open those packs, you check the prices on tradable cards, and you try to flip them. See the Belgium here, I could flip. I will keep because I'm gonna do more and more and more. But if you need coins, you list all of these cards that sells. On this pack, these two here will sell for roughly 1,100 coins. So you list those. You list the tradables as much as you can. And whenever you get a tradable pack, you get a chance of packing something incredible within it with a higher rating. So here I got an 83 or an 84, but it's tradable. So for now, I'm going to keep it in the club. Although it's a dupe, you see, I don't even keep it in the club. I will use it somewhere else. I will ship him to the transfer list and make profit off of him later. Or I'm going to wait for the 83s to shoot back up and go up in price. But you see... That's why I wanted League SPC so bad. Now I can do this all night instead of gameplay. And in what? 20 minutes, I got more packs than grinding seven wins of rivals. Yes, these are not the same big packs, but this one here, the Prime Gold Player packs with an 82 plus, this I opened hundreds, if not thousands of last year within the ultimate team and this is how i packed all the promo cards i get all the icons all everything you can pack everything especially now that the icons are considered in the packs so this is how you get things done within eafc it took six weeks but now the grind is alive the dad to glory now has a purpose i can craft whatever I want using this method and this method only now even the gameplay feels a little saturated because the more time I put into this the more cards I get and you see I got an 84 rated here I'm gonna flip her right now to get some coins back from doing this so it's up to you you either keep the cards until they are inflated I had a league card as well I should have flipped I will do that after we are done with the video so you can keep those and flip them when they are inflated or sell them when they're duplicates or you can sell them right away and try to recycle your coins i have a lot of coins so i don't need to be careful with this but you see another 83 here this is just a quick sample of what you can do 
with the league SPC. And just the just by quick selling the dupes, I got 1,200 coins. I quick sell all these consumables because I will pack hundreds of them untradeable now. That we have a way to get all the consumables, the contracts, the, the kits, and everything. Is that a special card? Was I talking over a special card? No, that's not a special card. I was just talking. But you see, I don't even know the flares. I didn't open packs on the um, the console that much. I usually open my pack on the web app to make it quicker. But you see, this is the League SPC. And all the while I was talking to you, I replenished my club and I will jump right back in and do one more. Or do one or two games, jump back in and grind some League SPC. This is a cycle. This is how you get things done. See, Sudamericana, Libertadores, all of these will be used into League SPC. And if there's a silver dupe, you recycle it into a silver upgrade. I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to finish open the packs, but usually I would have taken that silver and do a silver upgrade with it and then get three rare gold commons, uh, three gold common cards, and the cycle goes on and on and on. Now there is a place to put every card you pack so you don't waste. You see another 83, two other 83s. At the beginning of the week, I was paying 2,500 coins for 83s because I was dead low. I just pack four within 10 minutes. That's how you do an 83 rated squad. So I'm going to finish Thiago Silva just by doing this for another 20 minutes or so. Of course, doing the bigger players will take more time and more repetition, but it is foolproof. You do this an hour, you will get 50 packs. It's as simple as that. It is. There's no secret here. It's just repetition. You don't need to trade. You don't need to think about what card has the best value, what to put where, how. You just do this over and over again. You open the packs and you create more cards. So either you improve your squad with the SPC cards and you're golden because they, they are solid players to craft, or you pack something good, and then you're golden because you can try a promo card or something, or you never know. See, I will be able to craft another icon, maybe I'll start um, Project Stoichkov. I left all of these players as PC behind because I didn't have enough fodder to do it. Now this time is gone. I have fodder. I have a way to generate fodder and that's the beauty of the league spc and that's why i love it so much i could do this all day and my streams will be league spc from now on i will do a little gameplay but most of my streams will be crafting pack and as i told you guys on bids i just bought a few here took 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 six six fifty i missed out on a few if you I, i'm gonna have to study this and on twitter x i'll try to get a list or something these will come in handy when you are ready to use them, but you can always bid on them, especially after Squad Battles Reward on Sunday and after Rivals Reward on Thursday. Try to bid on these cards and now it's time to collect and club stock and buy everything you need and you can complete the card that you want. An 84 rated squad, it's in the pocket for me. I will do it as soon as I'm done with this video and I will try them in champs. So that was the update today. Straight up League SPC guide. The Dad to Glory now has a path. We will pack promo cards. We will pack icons. We will pack heroes. We are on. I can't figure out the gameplay. My champs is awful. But now I have a purpose here. And I will show you guys how to get the most out of your time. And out of your coins in Ultimate Team. And craft an insane squad before team of the year just by using the league spc we are on schedule mid-november the game starts right now if you have any questions comments jump in the comments i will try to reply to everybody jump on twitter x cynical underscore foot i'm here every day twitch i try to be there as much as i can but not every day i'm a dad i don't have always time to stream and stuff but I do have time to answer to all of your comments. So leave them a plenty right under here. 
I will be nice to you and I'm always glad to help any fellow grinders to get the best team possible. So until the next upgrade, probably on Monday or Tuesday for the uh, weekly grind, I must bid you adieu and I really hope that you jump on the ESPC and have as much fun as I have opening packs. Finally. Ciao.